Hi everybody, welcome back. Today's workout is a full body strength routine. We're gonna slow down our movement today and focus on building muscle with this whole body workout. Because the pace today is a bit slower, we want you to focus on range of motion and trying to keep a consistent tempo. We will alternate between upper and lower body exercises to give those muscles a rest between sets and make this workout extra efficient. Your muscles are going to feel a bit of the burn and fatigue at the end of each set. Try to focus on completing as many quality reps as you can, keeping in mind that form is the most important, more important than the weight that you use. Take a pause if you notice that you're struggling to keep up your form, just join back in whenever you can. You will notice that we may take pauses at the work points that we need it in the workout today. So strength training is actually not only important to build muscle, but research has shown that strength training has a benefit on the amount and efficiency in sleep compared to other types of exercises. All right, today's workout will be made up of four exercises. The timer will be on for 50 seconds of movement, followed by a 10 second transition, and we will complete four rounds of the circuit. We will post the timer on the screen, so no need to keep track on your own. We are gonna use round one today as our warm up. However, if you need a little extra time, pause, join us when you're ready. For our action level category today, you are gonna grab a chair and a small set of weights, you're gonna follow Bobby. If you're joining us for challenge level exercises, grab a small set of weights, follow Amanda. If you're doing the train exercises today, grab a small, medium set of weights, and you're gonna follow me. All right, we're gonna get started, but I wanna remind you, resistance training is still strenuous. Make sure you have your water close by, take water whenever you need it, most importantly, have fun, and let's get started. Our first exercise doesn't need those weights, so we're just gonna start with body weight. All right, here we go. So we're showing three versions of an exercise that targets the lower body. Bobby is doing a straight leg, lifting that leg, isolating that front thigh muscle. Amanda's showing that split lunge position, and I'm actually adding a squat and lunge together. You may notice during these movements, especially if you're standing like Amanda and I, your balance gets a little off. Embrace those wobbles, just join us when you can. If you're seated on the chair like Bobby, really focus on pushing your toe up to the ceiling, keeping your chest as tall as you can. How are you doing back there, Amanda? Good. Working that balance. Yes. As you're lunging, if you're losing your balance, think about keeping your feet as wide as your hips, or we call them railroad lines. Nice work, everybody. We just have five more seconds, then we're moving into our next exercise. Good, and rest. All right, our next exercise targets the upper body, so we're gonna grab our weights, and we're gonna show how to work the arms and shoulders together with a curl and press. Let's go. So three different versions of this exercise again. Again, seated version, showing that nice isolated form. Amanda's giving you a single version, allowing for a little more time between repetitions, and I'm showing how you can do this movement together. You can make a combination of these as well. It's whatever works for you today. It is important that you do whatever position is comfortable for you. So while I'm showing palms forward, you may like this hammer position with palms in. May feel like you have a little bit better range of motion and feel free to mix it up. All right, everybody, 10 seconds. How we doing? Good. Good. Feeling those arms? Yes. yes. <laughs> Perfect, we're moving back to those legs next. Three, two, and rest. Great, so this next exercise we are doing is a deadlift version targeting the back of the legs. So Amanda's showing this with one weight, Bobby's showing this with body weight, and I'm adding a little bit extra motion here. So we're all gonna do this regular deadlift position with wide legs, knees pointed out. If you're following me, you're gonna add a straight leg deadlift followed by one regular deadlift, and continue the sequence throughout. Try to look forward, not down during all of these movements, only going to the range of motion that you feel comfortable. You should be feeling this in the back of the thighs, but definitely not the lower back. Beautiful work, great job back there. All right, we only have 10 seconds left. They're going to our last exercise of the series. Back to that upper body, five seconds. See if you can get one more rep in. And rest, great job. 
back to the upper body. We're gonna go ahead and go to row. Bobby's gonna show a different side position with her chair. And she and Amanda are both doing alternating and I'm gonna show this movement as a double. All right, everybody, let's get into position. So we're looking for a flat back position. Looking to weight, put the weight into the heels, rowing those elbows to the hips. We wanna make sure that we're not rowing up to those ears, thinking about pulling those hips, I'm sorry, pulling those elbows into those back pockets. Good work, everybody. And in case you aren't noticing, this is also a really great core exercise, working those abs and that low back. All right, everybody, guess what? We only have 15 seconds left. And then we're on to round two. Remember, pause if you need to, set those weights down, shake out those arms, and rest. All right, great. We're going back to that first position, work in the lower body. Bobby and Amanda are both moving into the left and I'm still showing that alternating. All right, let's go. So hopefully you're a little bit more warmed up and you're feeling those joints are moving a little better. This is a great time that you can increase that range of motion. If you haven't had weight, you can add weight if you would like to, but you'll see quickly that body weight is a great way to exercise to build muscle. Make sure you're still breathing. We wanna be holding our breath. If you're doing the squat and lunge with me, make sure you're pressing through your heel. And most importantly, smile. <laughs> <laughs> or laugh <laughs> through the pain. Definitely feeling those muscles. You feeling those legs? Huh, yes. Bobby? Yes. <laughs> I think that chair leg lift is a little brutal, but very effective. And you can do it anywhere, watching TV or at work. Nice work and rest. All right, let's go back to that upper body. Curl press, everybody. Grab those weights. All right, here we go. Three, two, and begin. So you may feel a little warmed up this set. You may also be feeling a little bit tired. Remember, slow and steady tempo. Sometimes strength workouts take a little bit longer, but we need these repetitions to build that important muscle. Change that position, palms in, go to singles if you need to. Always have that control. If you've had any particular surgeries or treatments in your shoulders or chest, you may notice that one side moves differently than the other. You also may need to be wearing your compression garments such as Bobby is with us today. Remember, this is your workout. We want you to do what's the best for you. All right, team, three seconds and rest. Great, break on those arms. Let's go back to those legs with those deadlifts. All right, I like this alternating. How about you guys? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. So remember, you can do this with body weight, a single weight or two weights. If you're following me, I'm adding this straight position, leaning my chest forward. I'm gonna show that from the side so you can see. We all have a nice tall spine from head to tail, basically the back of your head all the way down to your glute muscles, keeping that back supported throughout. If you're doing that straight leg deadlift with me, make sure you also keep your knees softened. Pull those shoulders back. Good work, everybody. Just 10 seconds. Good. One more, one more. Ow, we got it. Yes, and rest. All right, back to row. Good news, this will put us at the halfway point. Definitely breaking a sweat. Remember, nice tall spine. Pull that belly button in. Let's go. Now, while none of us are actually setting the weights down between repetitions, it's a great way to break up those repetitions by setting those weights down if you need to, and then grabbing them again. Gives your low back a little bit of a break. Great way to keep moving while changing up that tension. If you're feeling anything in your low back, simply adjust your torso up. Trying to keep the weight in the heels if you're in this double leg position. Remember, elbows to those back pockets, everybody. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Good work, 15 seconds, everybody, you got it. Almost there, keep breathing. Almost at that halfway point. Three, two, and rest. 
Great job. All right, back to that lower body. So Bobby and Amanda are going back to that right side. I'm still demonstrating that alternating. I'm sorry, I need water, I'm sorry. Grab water, yes. Excellent, all right, we ready? Just join in whenever you're ready. Same for you at home. Grab water whenever you need to. You do not have to wait for us. Always important for this to be your workout. Nice job, everybody. Always feels a little good to be on the back side of this workout. Nice form, so good. Now remember at home, if you're starting to get tired, slow down that tempo if you need to. Join in whenever you can. If you're feeling really good, go ahead and feel free to pick it up, knowing that we just have a little bit left to go. Five seconds. Yes, and rest. All right, everybody, let's grab those weights. Back to that upper body. Definitely feeling those muscles. Glad that we're in the last round coming soon. Ready? And begin. If you need to take an extra moment, adjust that posture. Really pull those shoulders back. Make sure you do so. I also find when you're standing, it really helps to squeeze your lower body by squeezing your thighs together, squeezing your booty muscles. That helps engage your core and your posture without having to think about it. Little distraction from those shoulder and bicep muscles. Change that position. See if you can get just a few more reps in. Good work. How you doing, team? Good. You feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> and we're having fun. 10 seconds. Nice job. So close. Three, two, and rest. All right, back to lower body, back to those deadlifts. Remember, nice wide foot position. Want those heels under those hips, toes pointed out, chest up. Ready, and begin. So as we are here in round three. It's a great time to adjust those weights if you need to. If you found you might have gone just a little too heavy, grab a smaller weight. For an exercise like this, move to a single, which is Amanda's demonstrating, or keep that double. You can also put your weights together in a more comfortable position if you want to face your palms together. It's really up to you and what feels good for you. 20 seconds, everybody. Make sure you're standing all the way up. We're so close. Build in some muscle. Can you feel it, Bobby? Yep. <laughs> How do you like the deadlifts, Amanda? Good. Good. Working hard. <laughs> she is. And rest. All right, great work, team. We're back to those rows. Good. Three, two, and begin. Although we kind of did this on purpose, the row exercise after the deadlift is actually very similar muscles. So you're already gonna notice the back of those legs might be feeling a little tired and you're having to work a little harder with that upper body. That was designed by intention. However, make sure you make this your own workout. Pick the level that works for you. Again, set that weight down if you need to between repetitions. Focus on pulling those elbows back. 20 seconds, everybody, 20 seconds. Notice you're feeling this a little bit in your core. Good work, good work, 10 seconds, you got it. Three, two, and rest. All right, one round to go. Can we do it? Yes, we can. All right, we're going back to that lower body. Again, Bobby and Amanda are going back to that left leg. I'm gonna show that alternating one more time. If you're doing the alternating with me, you can also take out that squat if you want to. You can always go just to that alternating reverse lunges. Again, it's whatever feels good for you. If your balance might be feeling a little bit off or you might be feeling a little tired, move yourself over to something you can hold on to. Don't worry about it, just do your best and keep moving. Make sure you stand all the way up after those lunges. Nice work. Great job, team. We're almost done with this one and then it's not coming back today. 10 seconds, couple more repetitions. Great job at home, don't give up. Three, two, and rest. 
Woohoo! All right, grab those weights. That one's behind us. Get that arm curl press done. Oh, take a moment, big breath in. Let's go. I do think weights feel lighter when you smile. <laughs> so add that smile. Think about how strong your body is. Think about what you can do. If you want to, you can close your eyes. You can stop looking at us and just feel your body. Whatever feels good to you, turn that music up. Nice work. Guess what? We're halfway through this round. Keep moving. This is the last round of this. I'm definitely feeling tired arms. <laughs> Again, change that hand position. Slow those reps down if you need to. All right, 10 seconds. Come on, you got this. Try not to put it down. Five seconds. Give me one more. One more. Yes. And rest. Okay. Done with that. Two to go. Back to those deadlifts. Work on the back of those legs one more time. Make sure you got those feet nice and wide and begin. So as you get tired, take a moment. Think about your form. Slow down. 50 seconds can be a long time. I want you to keep doing quality reps throughout, one at a time. Good work. Weight in the heels on those deadlifts. Nice job. Good, 20 seconds. Come on, team. Keep pushing. You got it. One rep at a time. Last five seconds. Need one more. And rest. Awesome job. All right, one to go. Last set of row. Get it done. Whew. Catch your breath. Ready? Let's do it. So for this last row, I want everybody to think about really slowing down the lower part of this exercise. That's actually where those muscles are built is that slow lower and return. And as you get tired, it's really easy to think about going super fast. But this gives us not only a break in our muscles, but really helps those muscles build. Focus on your form, pause if you need to readjust, set it down. We got some time left to join back in. Good work, everybody. Okay, team, 20 seconds. Come on, you at home, don't give up. It's our last thing we do today. Make those muscles strong. 10 seconds. We are so almost there. Three, two, and rest. Woohoo! Good job. Can you still lift your arm? Good work. Awesome job, everybody. Set those weights down. Make sure you get them out of their way. Grab your drink of water. Real water break. Definitely for you all at home. And then we'll take a moment and kind of stretch out. Stretch out those muscles a little bit, but take a moment, catch your breath, inhale. Big exhale. Great work. How's it feel? <laughs> true, true, true. No words, right? Amanda, any words? Good. Good. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Let's just start on our mat. I'm gonna have you stay standing with Kit. Okay? Yep. We're just gonna step our foot out to the right. Lean into that right leg. You at home can follow this with your right leg, or if you want to go left and go on our side, you can. But remember, this is individual. Try to lean into that hip. Shift that weight over that thigh as much as you can. Let's come back to the center. Switch sides. Should feel really good in the back of those booties. Switch sides. Nice. Just go as low as you feel comfortable. If you need something for balance, keep that nearby. One more time, switch sides. And rest. All right, let's take that one foot forward, pick one, any one, toe comes up, slide down that thigh, feel in the back of those legs. I want you to be really mindful at home. We don't want to be pressing on the knee joints, so think about above, below, down to the foot if you can. But definitely leave those knees alone if you possibly can. You can pull that toe up, pull it with your hand, or just lift it up manually. Let's go ahead and switch sides.
and back up. Great job, everybody. Feel free to take a few more extra minutes to cool down at home, take a walk, definitely get some water, and you're probably gonna feel a tiny bit sore tomorrow, but that's because you're building some muscle. Great job, we'll see you next time.